My name is Megan Paterno, and I am Christine Daye. In what? Oh. <laughs> I am the Phantom of the Opera, oh but I'm Jonathan Rocksmith. God. And I'm Matt Lisey, and I play Raoul Vicomte de Chagny. In Phantom of the in Opera. In Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know what you guys, but I, I always performed in some capacity, like singing in a choir or whatever. So then I just kind of gave it a shot, kept doing it, and then moved to New York, and then here I am. <laughs> Mine was more... Uh, I suppose a, a reaction to bullying in a way because I grew up a very fat child and I realized that if you made your bullies laugh, they'd stop bullying you. Mm. And then I heard that people would actually pay you to do that as a living and then, <laughs> you know. I don't have a lightning bolt moment, honestly. It sort of just happened. I had no idea that this is what I wanted to do. And uh, Don't look at me, guys. I don't know, I'm looking at you guys for support. <laughs> I know I'm very lucky to be able to do my dream job every single day and not everyone has that opportunity, so it's pretty special. It's it, it's not as romantic as some people have their stories, I think. <laughs> Fat children are not romantic. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! So you've had a bad day. You feel terrible about who you are and what you do in the world and everything. You walk on stage and, and you've got 1,800 strangers in front of you and you tell a story and you sing a few songs and by the end of the show you come up on stage and you take a curtain call and the audience sends you this wave of love. Mm. Your day disappears and that's what makes you okay again. It's therapy. Some people pay for that. <laughs> they pay us to do that. Yeah. How is that a job? But also that comes with great price, I have to say. I mean, you have to... What? What? <laughs> Okay, go but on. But if you have a hard day, you have to leave that at home because our job then is to embody everything that those characters are going through. Whether you're in the mood to do it or not emotionally, you must do it because that's that that's what it's about then. So it's, you know. Okay, he didn't like that answer, but... <laughs> it's kind of like an iceberg, if you will. I mean, you what you see, the audience sees, is we're just right mm. on the top, but there's so much going on underneath our crew is amazing, our orchestra. Mm -hmm. I mean, truly, like, we, you see us, but we wouldn't be able to do what we do without everyone behind us. And there's so many more of them than us. So, thank you guys, you're Seriously. superheroes. <laughs> it takes a village. It takes a village, yeah. it takes a village. It, it is being an athlete. You are an Olympian of what you're doing. So everything that you do, from what you eat, how you work out during the day, I mean, you're protecting your body. The Phantom of the Opera is is a marathon. It's a juggernaut of a show. To do that, every day you must do what's necessary and be very regimented and very disciplined. We have the same process. So I think our work styles have become a, a far more of a collaboration mm -hmm. because we all started from the same point. We got to know each other through six weeks of hard work, mm -hmm. um, 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock at night, <coughs> um, rehearsal, and then one day off a week. Um, we were working six days a week on this for that amount of time. And I think you, you really sort of begin to complement each other when you are in a tech week because you are at your most vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So you have to start relying on each other to share the load and, and, and get through it. I think faith in yourself and faith in the material is all you need. But I think it is tempting to fall into the trap of overthinking. Just do it. We just have to trust the research and the work we've put into it. To, so it's always just like relying on that, but then also um, keep it fresh and, and be present. I think it's got to do with why people go to the theater in the first place. Some people go to think, some people go to learn, some people mostly go to escape. Mm. And I think if you're gonna do any of those things, you wanna do it with the best possible ratio of bang for your buck. And you get it all so, in fancy. Oh, you get it oh, all. Yeah. <laughs> Sets, yeah. costumes, yeah. music, what you Beautiful. see, what you hear, mm -hmm. everything. You get a full experience. Not to say that other musicals don't give you the same thrill. They don't, but Phantom does. No matter where you are, America, Malaysia, Brazil, Russia, music and love, these are universal languages. That's why it's it still touches so many of us and will always touch everyone around the world.